हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर डी सी सक्सेना प्रोफेसर एंड हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फूड इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एट संत लोंगोवाल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी लोंगोवाल आई एम हेयर टू प्रजेंट द पेपर टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ मीट पोल्ट्री फिश एंड सी फूड प्रोडक्ट्स आफ्टर नोइंग ऑल द टेक्नोलॉजिकल आस्पेक्ट्स आफ्टर नोइंग द केमिस्ट्री ऑफ द प्रोसेस आफ्टर नोइंग द हाइजीन एंड सैनिटेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्व इन द मीट प्रोसेसिंग देर इज द नीड ऑफ बाई प्रोडक्ट यूटिलाइजेशन फ्राम दिज इंडस्ट्री सो दीज आस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ बाई प्रोडक्ट यूटिलाइजेशन फ्राम फिश एंड सी फूड इंडस्ट्री विल बी एक्सप्लेन टू यू इन द प्रजेंट मॉड्यूल बाई माई को ऑदर मिस्टर नरेंद्र कुमार चांदला हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम नरेंद्र कुमार चांदला फ्रॉम संत लोंगोवाल Institute of Engineering and Technology Today I am going to talk about module 35 of paper 8 that is technology of meat poultry fish and seafood In this module we will be discussing about by product utilization from fish and seafood industry Fish waste is a great source of minerals proteins and fat potential utilization of waste fish scraps from five marine species white crocker horse mackerel flying fish chub mackerel and shardy so as to produce fish protein hydrolate by the enzymatic treatment it was investigated by and indicated that fish protein hydrolate could be used as cryoprotectant so as to suppress the denaturation of the proteins of lizard fish surely during frozen storage enzymes and the bioactive peptides obtained from the fish waste are by catch or used for the fish silage fish feed and for the fish sauce production auto hydrolysis of the waste fish viscera to produce peptone hydrolate and they are used in the microbiological media so as to support the growth and bacteriocin production by lactic acid bacteria have been reported alternative use of the fish processing waste like utilization of the fish mince application of the fish gelatin fish as a source of nutraceutical ingredients fish meal production the possible use of fish and protein concentrate as a food source have been seen generalization of the by product utilization fish meal is popular due to its high nutritional value after proper processing as a animal and poultry feed the meal is having high level of amino acids such as lysine which is often deficient in grains or in the cereal products and the products which are made out of it this particular products or the grain are the routine diet for the feeds to the livestock it also have a good amount of vitamins and is a good source of calcium copper iron phosphorus and other essential trace minerals fish liver oil as medicinal components have been explored for its extraction by the various methods fish oil have significant application as it is rich in omega 3 fatty acids and have potential to lower the cardiovascular and other cardiac diseases thus when fed to the animals as a feed can increase the omega 3 fatty acid omega 3 content in the animals in the flesh making these animals a source of further a source of fatty acid fish head spines bones ventricular portion skin and sometimes the intestines may be mixed with the carbohydrates such as straw 
potato mash and meal by the products such as bread, chef and residual flour and are fermented at low temperatures so as to convert these into animal feed. Fish soluble can also be converted by fermentation into palatable animals. Fish soluble can either be mixed molasses and fed as such or mixed with the molasses. In this module, we will talk about fish meal and oil production, fish canary waste, stick water processing, use as animal feed and others. We will talk about fish silage for animals, fish liver oil, extraction of fish liver oil, fish glue and other fish utilization as a production of leather, titin, titocin, PLSNs and fertilizers. As far as fish waste is concerned, fish waste is a great source of minerals, proteins and fat. Potential utilization of the waste fish scraps from five marine species, white crocker, horse mackerel, flying fish, chub mackerel, sardine to produce fish protein hydrosolite by enzymatic treatment and indicate that fish protein hydrosolate could be used as cryoprotectant so as to suppress the denaturation of the proteins of lizard fish surimi during frozen storage. It has been reported that collagen or keratin contained in livestock and fish waste may be converted to useful products by enzymatic hydrolysis providing new physiological functional food materials. As we know, functional food materials, they could have their specific use for the production of the functional foods as an nutraceutical ingredient. So, fish waste could be of great importance for the production of the nutraceutical components as it is rich in nutritional compositions in comparison to other sources like cereals, pulses, etc. Fish waste utilization. Waste of the fish is utilized for the production of the fish proteins as a isolate or concentrate. In this case, proteins are isolated by the various methods like hydrolysis. Collagens containing yellow tail fish bone and swine skin waste were used as a raw materials for the production of the protein hydrosolates and peptides. Fish protein hydrolysates could be of potential use as a food ingredients. As far as enzymes are concerned, they do play a role for the conversion of waste into bioactive peptides obtained from the fish waste or especially from the fish silage or from the fish feed. Autohydrolysis of the waste fish viscera to produce pepton hydrosolates and they are used in the microbiological media so as to support the growth and the production of the bacteriocin by lactic acid bacteria have been reported. Alternative use of the fish processing waste like utilization of the fish mince, application of the fish gelatin. Fish may be used as a source of the nutraceutical ingredients or fish meal production. The possible use of the fish and protein concentrate as a food source have been explored. Fish meal and oil production. Fish meal is highly nutritious component and even the oil extracted do have the squalene content which may be utilized for the prevention of the cardiovascular diseases. As far as fish meal is concerned, it is the popular meal due to its high nutritional values. The meal is having 
high level of amino acids such as lysine which is often deficient in grain and other sources of the food. Therefore, its products which are required in a routine diet for the feeds to the livestock are taken from the fish and the fish products. It also have good amount of vitamins and is a good source of calcium, copper, iron, phosphorus and other essential trace minerals. This all requires as an part of RDA for the better health of the human beings. As far as oil is concerned, fish oil has significant application as it is rich in omega-3 fatty acids and have potential to lower the cardiovascular and the cardiac diseases. Therefore, when fed to the animals as a feed could increase the omega-3 fatty acid as a content in the animal flesh so as making these further another source of the fatty acid. Fish canary waste We know canary where surplus amount of waste have been generated out of the fish as fish needs to be fit for the canning purpose. Therefore, the waste generated out of it could be utilized for the production of the various products. Therefore, the waste generated out of the canary could be utilized in the production of the various products. In salmon canning, approximately 33% of the fish ends up as a canary waste. This is composed of 56% heads and collars, 13% tail and fins, 11% raw, 10% digestive tract, 5% milk, 4% liver and 0.7% is the heart. Canary waste is sometimes fed directly to the mink and can be used in the manufacturing of the pet food. Fish offal has also been fed in growth phase for the pigs. Salmon head oil can be used when salmon are canned. Insulin can also be separated from the cod, halibut and pollock. So, canary waste can be utilized in the production of the various products like oils. Fish canary waste. The largest it contains is high concentration of the insulin which is located next to the gallbladder and are clipped off by the scissors. The pure form of the insulin is extracted by chemical solvent technique. Additional biochemical products which could be separated from the fish are the following. First is bile salt. Second is cholesterol depressants like squalene from the fish oil from the gallbladder. Third is fish plasma which processes anti-inflammatory compounds for example cortisone. Fourth is fish heart, kidney and liver. These three processes a coenzyme for the carbohydrate metabolism that is glutathione. Fifth is protamines. These are combined with 5-hydro-d-oxyodine for use in the terminal cancer patients from salmon milk. Sixth is the unsaturated fish oil and this oil could be used as a skin ointment. Stick water processing. Here fish meal is made by steam cooking of the fish byproducts including fish heads, tails and viscera from the fish canning is taken after processing it at a pressure of 0.35 kg per centimeter square for 7 to 15 minutes. This cooked tissue is then pressed by a continuous moving screw press and the cake obtained contains 50% of the moisture. Then the product is dried to obtain fish meal as a product. 
the filtrate containing 5 to 10 percent solids and is called as press water. The liquid is heated to 88 degree centigrade and oil is either decanted or centrifugally removed. The remaining liquid is called stick water and the stick water is further utilized and contains 1% of oil and 0.7 to 1.25% of insoluble proteins along with 3 to 5% of the soluble proteins. Use as a animal feed and others. Fish can be utilized for the feeding of the animals. The various parts of the fish which could be fed to the animal are heads, spines, bones, ventricular portion, skin and sometimes intestines which may be mixed with the carbohydrates such as straw, potato mash and meal byproducts such as bread, chaff and residual flour and then they are fermented at a low temperatures so as to convert these into animal feed. Fish soluble can also be converted by fermentation into palatable animal food. Fish soluble can either be mixed molasses and fed as such or could be mixed with the molasses. This is further concentrated to 50 to 60 percent and further combined with molasses to produce balanced and palatable animal feed. Fish scraps or meal are often palatated to reduce the volume and to retard the process of oxidation which causes the rancidity in the fish products. Fish carcasses can also be digested in a pressure chamber by using saturated steam. The resulting liquid and the solids could be used as a raw material for the fat and fertilizer production. The meal of the Crutacean could be utilized as a source for the production of the keratinoid pigment. Fish silage for the animals. Fish byproducts could be converted into fish silage, and there are two ways of producing the fish silage. The first is to use inorganic acids to lower the pH of the fish slurry, and after that, naturally occurring enzymes convert silage to a liquid. The second method is to add a fermentable sugar and ferment the silage using lactic acid microorganisms. The second method is not being used in the commercial. To great extent, the fish silage produced may be used as a protein supplement in the liquid form. Many fish byproducts could be converted into fish silage and have the following advantages. The use of the fish byproducts in conversion of the silage results process economics to production practices of the fish products. Minimum energy is required for the production of the overall product. The processing of the byproducts into silage results a pollution free environment. The production of the fish silage is a microbiologically sterilized product which helps in establishing mandatory food regulations during the processing of the fish products. So, it could be helpful in maintaining and attaining the quality standards in the processing industries. Fish liver oil. As we know, oil is one of the source which could lead a number of diseases if it is not taken as per as the requirements. As per as fish is concerned, fish liver oil is high in vitamin A and D and thereby used to prevent night blindness and rickets. The water soluble vitamins are often extracted from the press liquid when manufacturing the fish meal. The liquid is treated with the alum and centrifuged to precipitate the protein out of it. The liquid is then evaporated and solids are collected to extract the vitamins with the solvent extraction. Thereby, the oil extracted 
stored at the temperature below 30 degree centigrade so as to prevent the evaporation losses and subsequently the degradation in the bioactive components present in the oil like squalene. Extraction of the fish liver oil as we discussed liver oil from the fish play an important role as it contains squalene as one of the component which could have its effects for the prevention of the cardiovascular diseases. Therefore, the extraction of the fish oil can be imparted by various methods like direct steaming, percolation, cold extraction, flotation, calcium chloride, vacuum processing, freezing, dehydration, alkaline digestion, alkali assisted enzyme treatment, acid digested and solvent extraction. Here we will be talking about the direct steaming and solvent extraction. In case of the steaming, steaming is a thermal process which requires rupturing cells and subsequently the release of the oil which is further centrifuged to remove the water and then filtered. The method of steaming yields 70 to 75 percent of the oil as a final component. Then the other method is solvent extraction. In this method solvent is refluxed through the sample so as to isolate the oil out of it. In this process liver is first ground and moisture is removed. The liver may be steamed at 70 to 75 degree centigrade for 30 to 45 minutes and then heat it with acetic acid so as to rupture the cells and as discussed solvent along with the fat is filtered and solvent is removed by the method of vacuum distillation. Fish glue as we are talking about fish waste have generated or could have the potential to generate waste products and fish glue is one of the product out of it. Here we will talk about fish glue and its the production techniques. Fish glue is made from fish skin and fish heads. Former yields better quality glue. Fish skins are either salted or dried and heads are processed fresh. For the extraction of the glue skins are cooled and by washing in the cold running water in the roller mill. Thereafter water treatment 0.2% caustic soda or saturated lime neutralized with 0.2% of hydrochloric acid and again rinsed in running cold water. The skins are steamed by mixing equal amount of water as of skin upon swollen. Finally, addition of the glacial acetic acid during the heating process done so as to make the glue clearer. The first cook is processed for 8 hours and layer of glue strained off. The skins are recombined with water and cooked again at higher temperature which result weaker glue. The liquid obtained is further evaporated to 50 to 55 percent total concentrate in an open pan. In addition of the production process volatile essential oils for example sassafras or oil of wintergreen are added so as to mask the typical fishy flavor. Fish utilization. As we know fish waste could be utilized in number of products like leather, chitin, chitosin, pearlescence and in the fertilizers production. The leather is processed from land animals as well as aquatic animals. The major difference in the aquatic animal and land animal leather production is that land animals mainly have hair that is removed from the skin. Whether fish normally need to have scales. In case of shark, calcareous deposits removed from the skin. Aquatic animal skin 
produces a flexible, smooth texture, flexible, long bearing, non scuffing, and decorative leather or other products. The product made from the aquatic skin has porosity, and this property of porosity could be well accepted and leads well comfortable bearing of the clothes which are made up of the skin of the fish. The leather prepared from this is polishable and regain its color well. And the other product which may be made out of it is chitin and chitosin. The polysaccharide chitin is abundant organic substance and is obtained from the animals. Chitin is recovered primarily from the shellfish waste. The major source currently being shrimp and crab waste. Extraction of chitin and chitosin from various animals is in the process. Peel essence from the seafood also extracted. Peel essence is recovered from the seafood as a suspension of crystalline quinine in the solvent. Quinine is a substance located in the epidermal layer of the scales fish species that swim near the surface. For example, herring and mackerel. Fish could be utilized in the production of the fertilizers. Therefore, the fertilizers could be a better option so as to degrade the waste generated by the seafood byproducts. So, we will summarize that fish is itself a valuable source or of course is a resource as far as the utilization of the waste is concerned. The waste generated after processing of the fish and its products further boost the economy of the fish processing. Fish waste is a great source of minerals, proteins and fat. Thereby, it could have its potential utilization for the various applications in the formulation of the food and non-food products. Potential utilization of the waste fish scraps from marine species like white crocker, horse mackerel, flying fish, chub mackerel, sardine to produce fish protein by enzymatic treatment was invested by various authors. And it indicates that fish protein could be utilized in the form of the hydrosolates as a cryoprotectant so as to suppress the denaturation of the proteins in the fissuremi during protein storage. Obha have further reported that collagen and keratin contain in livestock and in fish waste which may be converted to useful products by enzymatic or hydrochloric hydrolysis which provides further new physiological, functional or nutraceutical foods for the human wings. Collagens containing yellow tail fish bone and swine skin waste were used as raw materials for the production of the protein hydrosolates and peptides. So students, let us now summarize what we have learned in this module. Fish waste is a great source to produce fish protein hydrolate by enzymatic treatment and could be used as a cryoprotectant to suppress the denaturation of proteins of the fish suremi during frozen storage. Aquatic animal skin produces a flexible, smooth texture, flexible, long bearing, non scuffy and decorative items. The product made from the aquatic skin has porosity and is well comfortable to bear. Chitin and chitosin peel a sense from the seafood, use of the shells in fertilizers from the seafood, byproducts as a fish glue, they can be made out of the fish skins and fish head former 
yield better quality glue. Fish skins are either salted for short storage period or dried for the longer period and heads are processed fresh. Bioactive peptides obtained from the fish waste are by catch and used for the fish salads, fish feed and for the fish sauce production. As far as autohydrolysis of the fish is concerned, of the waste of the fish is concerned, it is suggested that it should be used in microbiological media to support the growth of the microorganisms of the specific microorganisms which need to be grow for the production of the specific substances. In case of some of the microbial, we need to grow like bactericins which may be produced by lactic acid bacteria on a fish waste source as a substrate. Alternatively, uses of fish processing waste like utilization of the fish means application of the fish gelatin and fish as a source of nutraceutical ingredients and protein concentrate as a food source have been explored and is in the market. Fish liver oil as a medicinal component have been explored for its extraction by various methods. You know squalene is one of the important component in the fish oil especially in the sour which you have some solubility for the solubilization of the cholesterol and prevent the heart diseases. As the various methods for this is direct steaming, percolation, cold extraction, flotation, in use of calcium chloride or even the vacuum cooking. That is all about the byproduct utilization from fish and seafood industry. As we know number of products that we can made out of this waste and this will increase the economy of the country or economy of the world. Thank you. We have seen there are different byproducts which are produced from fish and seafood industry. We have also seen how we can identify them, how we can utilize them for different purposes and in different forms. Thank you.